Greetings. It's October the 30th. So we are on our penultimate day. And uh, we're going to look at a book of the Bible that we haven't even looked at throughout all of this month. And this is uh, the book of Colossians in the New Testament. Uh, I, I love Colossians. It's one of my personal go to books of the Bible. And we're going to look at Colossians 3 verses 1 to 2, which says this. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above and not on earthly things. This links into what we were talking about yesterday with our eyes letting in the light and the dark. We've got to be people who are intentional with what we fill our minds with, as it says in Romans 12, which we've also looked at. Are we being intentional and are we setting our mind on the things above or are we filling our mind with the things of this earth? I don't know about you, but sometimes it's so easy to get sucked into the things of this earth and it feels like it just goes around a whirlpool of bad news. Whereas God's going, just look up. Psalm 121 says, I look up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. How do I acknowledge that? By looking up, by setting my mind on the things above. Why don't you spend some time today ignoring the things this world, but setting your mind on the things above to say, God, I see you and you're my savior. You're my redeemer. You're my king. You're my Lord. You're my provider. And giving some thanks for who he is. Set your mind today on the good things of God, not just for you, but maybe share some of that goodness of God with other people, too.